Hi guys. You know, one of the problems about being a hard-headed uh, truth teller uh, is you do not listen to uh, messages from the universe. Like that now, you know, the universe is doing everything it can to, uh, God damn it, the universe is determined I am not going to get this rant out. Here we go again. Uh, okay. Y you know, <laughs> good fucking God. Uh, so, I I'm going to try this a third time. Uh, I, I just did this rant or getting ready to hear. I, I did the whole fucking rant uh, and went to put it on my computer and there was nothing on the video card saying that I sat there and talked for, to myself for a however long now. The goddamn computer is trying to shut down on me. For whatever reason, the universe does not want me doing this. But we're going to try again a second time on this rant, which is all because we started out, gee, where have we heard this before? So what I did this morning is I did a 20-minute rant, okay, titled, you know, one of my corona, I guess it is Tuesday, April 6, 2021. So what I did today is I started off my day doing a 20-minute Corona Panic Roundup titled, Despite Fearstream Media's Best Efforts, 65% of Americans Realizing Corona Panic is a Bad Hair Day. Less than five minutes after posting it, I got this, uh, how many times now? Little love letter from YouTube. Hi, Humpty Dumpty Tribe. Our team has reviewed your content and unfortunately we think it violates our medical misinformation policy. We have removed the following content from YouTube. Your video, despite Fearstream Media's best efforts, 65% of Americans realizing Corona Panic is a bad hair day. We know that this might be disappointing, but it's important to us that YouTube is a safe place for all. So this is what they considered an unsafe place, that this is the subversive content that the YouTube cop bots are trying to protect, uh, to protect you from. So what I did was, now of course I did have a few aside comments, but uh, essentially what I did is I did a roundup of various mainstream media news stories on the corona panic. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to read the headline and the opening paragraph or two from this series of stories that I talked about in this roundup that YouTube does not want you to hear coming directly off of the mainstream media, not off of Alex Jones. Uh, now the first one, I, I couldn't, I can't give you a headline or read it because I was just commenting on a, unbelievably an interview I heard on NPR yesterday, which you can find. I can't remember the name of the fellow that they interviewed, but what he did was is he did this exhaustive analysis of mainstream media content uh, coverage of uh, the corona panic uh, for the past year. And not surprisingly, what he came up with was according to his reading of his own analysis, this exhaustive study, he found that at least in this country, that approximately 90 percent, nine zero percent of the mainstream media coverage was, you know, fear-mongering, uh, put out there to scare you, uh, is the bottom line. And then when he compared the coverage here to coverage in other countries outside of the U.S., 
he found a much, much more balanced uh, ratio of, uh, of, of coverage, you know, offering all different voices uh, on the subject of the corona panic, that there is a huge difference between the fear-mongering uh, of the U.S. media, such as NPR, uh, you know, and, and the rest of the planet. So I talked about that story. Uh, there is nothing I said in that story that remotely, that remotely uh, could have anything to do with violating YouTube's medical misinformation policy. I'm thinking it might have come from the number one story on the planet uh, to date. All I did uh, here was, was read the headline. I didn't even read the story. The number one story on the planet in Yahoo News today from AP, vaccine skepticism runs deep among white evangelicals in the U.S. So I spent a couple of minutes talking about vaccine skepticism. Uh, and which, which is obviously the number one story on the planet. So I talked for a couple of minutes. I, I mentioned Andy the Gardener's comments uh, from yesterday uh, and, and, and whatnot, but I didn't spend much time on it. That might be where they got me, uh, because if you even mention being skeptical of, of vaccines, uh, you will get yanked down off of YouTube. This might get me yanked down uh, by reading the words vaccine, vaccine skepticism. All right, but from there, uh, now this very well uh, could have been what the guy, the cop bots, panties in the wad, uh, panties in a wad, uh, from the CDC, uh, end the hygiene theater, CDC says, this is I guess just from Yahoo News, I'm just going to read the first sentence of this story right here in Yahoo News. It is time to unplug the sanitizing robots and put away the bottles of Clorox that seem to line the entrances to every school, restaurant, and supermarket wanting to advertise its safety protocols. While such protocols may be reassuring to an anxious populace, they are not necessary, says a revised guidance issued on Monday by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. End the hygiene theater, CDC says. So uh, I, I, I was cheering that article on, uh, you, you know, uh, cutting the, the crap on the fear mongering about, about the, you know, these Clorox wipes and the gloves and all that. Uh, take a breath, guys. Okay, next we, I want to thank my... Uh, buddy uh, Michael Daniel for sending me uh, a link actually to an article I didn't read from The Hill from this outfit called The Hill uh, and I but I did read two stories from The Hill today okay <clears throat> this is you know first thing Tuesday morning Reported daily COVID-19 deaths dropped to lowest point in year on Sunday. All right. Uh, and we just pretty much, are they going to let me 
get through the firewall here. Uh, the number of, the number of oh hush, I can I can read this. This is so they just have the woman reading it for you. Here's what she is reading uh, with the American flag flying. The number of COVID-19 deaths per day reported in the U.S. dropped to its lowest point in more than a year on Sunday with the country documenting 222 fatalities. The U.S. saw daily toll drop from 676 fatalities recorded on Saturday according to Johns Hopkins University statistics. The data show the number of daily deaths reached its lowest point since early in the pandemic on March 23, 2020 when 192 deaths were reported and then as I did in the original video as this article did as I did in the original video, and I will do it again, they do put in this caveat. Johns Hopkins data typically show a dip in coronavirus deaths on Saturdays and Sundays in different reporting patterns of state and county COVID-19 statistics, a situation that may have been exacerbated by the Easter holiday. So uh, anyway, I don't know, does that constitute medical misinformation reading the statistics directly off of Johns Hopkins University website? But the uh, main story I uh, talked about was this new Gallup poll and that was, you know, the title of, uh, you know, the video that they ripped down. Uh, again, this is from The Hill. Now, uh, of course, this article was nowhere showing in Yahoo News today. No mention of this article or the one I just read about the 222 deaths. Nowhere in Yahoo News. But at least The Hill uh, decided this was a newsworthy uh, the editors of The Hill, unlike the editors of Yahoo News, thought this was a story they should share with their readers, I guess since The Hill doesn't have to worry about getting yanked down. Fears of contracting COVID-19 at lowest point in past year, according to this new Gallup poll. Nationwide fears about contracting the coronavirus have dropped to the lowest level since a month after the pandemic began last year, according to a new survey. The Gallup poll published Tuesday this morning found 35% of U.S. adults now say they are very or somewhat worried about contracting COVID-19 that percentage represents the lowest level of concern since April of 2020. And uh, so I talked about that story, how 65% uh, of people on the new Gallup poll uh, today, I simply subtracted 35 from 100 to reword the story that 65% of Americans in the newest Gallup poll say they are not somewhat or very worried about the corona panic. And uh, I put that out there and was promptly yanked down for violating YouTube's medical misinformation policy and uh, we will see what they do with this one assuming that you now if the universe for whatever reason uh, does not let me upload this video at all I'm gonna give up uh, after three strikes are out so maybe uh, uh, maybe with two down 
uh, in the bottom of the ninth, uh, I will actually get this one on YouTube and they will let it stay up for more than five minutes. Wish me luck. Bye, guys.